how to create whiteboard animation videos in Canva. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can build amazing whiteboard animations using Canva. So let's jump right in. Now you don't need Canva Premium for this. You don't need any fancy tools. We're just gonna be using our regular old Canva and you're just gonna log on to your Canva account via your email address. Once you've done that, we are going to directly click on video over here. Once we do that, we're going to be creating a blank video that is going to be a landscape video so i'm just gonna be using a 1920 by 1080p frame you can choose whatever frame size you want for your whiteboard animations this is up to your personal preference or your personal liking as well once i have clicked on the frame that i want i can title it on the top so on the top right we are going to name this our whiteboard sample once you do that you will see a preview bar we're just gonna click on this to remove it from our basic canvas now i'm gonna click on elements and i'm gonna zoom out a little i will show you guys the timeline bar so it's easier for you to see at the bottom we have some audio added we're just gonna delete the audio bar now from here we're going to go into elements on the left and you search for whichever elements you want to add i am going to search for bulb which is a light bulb and i'm just going to go into graphics and i'm going to take this one i'm going to place it over here then i'm going to search for arrow and i'm going to go into not into shapes into graphics again and then we're going to be using this graphic over here and i'm going to flip this like so once i do that i am going to search for money bag and i'm going to go into graphics and i want something that looks like a drawing or a sketch money bag, like this this looks nice i'm just going to place these a bit lower and i'm going to click on text now and now i'm going to click on add a text box i'm going to click on my text box place it on the top and i'm going to type in the title for my animated video how to make your idea into money how to convert your idea into money so how to convert ideas into money and then i'm just going to resize my text box over here like this place it right at the center and i'm going to search for calligraphy and i'm going to use a different font style for this i just want something that's readable but it should still include elements of calligraphy and this looks nice and i'm just going to size it up a little so i'm going to change the font size into maybe 90 this looks fine like so once i have done all of this it's time to use an application so on the left you will see apps on the leftmost side of your canvas screen you're going to find apps so on the bottom left you can see apps you're going to search for speed paint and once you search for speed paint this is the application you're going to see click on this app and then click on open once you do that what you can do with this application is that you can upload your image or select anything from your canvas and animate that in the form of a speed paint video simply select your elements like this and you can choose the sketch duration let's say i want it to be 10 seconds and the overall smoothness i want it to be 120p then i'm going to choose the hand style that i want to use so i'm going to click on see all let's say i want to use this one and i'm going to click on use then you have the drawing order, which you can leave at auto or top to bottom, text first, text at the end. And from here, I'm just going to click on sign up or just going to click on connect. And you do have to sign in with Google or use your email address to create your account on Speed Paint, which you can do when a pop-up is going to appear when you are just selecting it over here. And you don't need any premiums for this. You just need to sign up and build your account. Once you have created your account, you can see you have a certain number of credits which you can purchase. Now, I'm just going to, I don't have any colors in this, so we have a color fill duration at zero. And I'm going to click on animate image. Once I have done that, it is going to animate my image. So we're going to select, click on add image like this. Or if I want, we can click on over here and I might have to use an image instead of a graphic. The images from my design are having a bit of an issue. So I'm just going to redo the images instead, which is going to be money like this. And then I have my bulb 
which I'm going to be using. I think I'm going to go with the colored one this time, like this, and then go back into speed paint on the left. Not cartoonify, we're just going to search for our app. And again, I'm just going to go, yeah, you guys can see the image preview is showing up. I'm going to go with 120. And from here, I have the hand I want to add. And I'm going to click on animate image. And now it's going to turn our image into speed paint. And that is how you can create those whiteboard animations. Obviously, this just depends on the type of whiteboard animation you're building. You obviously will customize the text and more in accordance to whatever you are presenting. We're just going to wait until this is complete for our animation. And it might take a little longer depending on how many images you have. You guys can see this has now animated my image and it's uh, used 10 seconds. So I'm going to delete this and now I have the image version or, you know, the speed paint version of my graphic like this. Now, instead of doing this for each and individual element, what I recommend you guys do is that whenever you create an entire frame on Canva, you download that as a PNG or as a JPEG, then open it up and then animate the entire thing. That actually saves you credit. So instead of having one and one element animated, you know, for one credit, what you can do is you can just place in all the elements like this and I can just download this entire thing. Download, download this as a PNG, download over here, add a new page, upload my image. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it as it was. Go back into my application, which is my speed paint application. And then I'm going to select my image, choose the sketch duration, hand style, sketch type, and then click on animate image. And instead of just animating the light bulb, this would animate my entire frame. This saves you credit and can be just an easier and quicker way for your animations to be created and completed. I'm just going to wait until this is created so I can show it to you guys. And just like that, our entire image, our entire scene has been animated for us using speed paint. So if I expand this to the same size, I can see what it's going to look like and I'll play it for you guys as well. So this is what it looks like how to convert ideas into money and now it's building the entire you know bulb and the money and it's sketching everything out and just like that we have our whiteboard animation so this would be one frame then you add another page place everything download it as a png and then animate and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.